no longer be two, but one. And in the book of Ecclesiastes, King Solomon writes, two are better than one, because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, a cord whose strength is greater than any amount of cords, and that third cord is Jesus Christ, the foundation of your marriage, the success of your marriage, the one who will bless your marriage, the one who will keep your marriage. So as a couple learn to read and practice the truth that he has given to each of us, and as you do so, God will strengthen you and raise you up. He will bless you and your children and your life together, and your marriage will flourish and blossom as an indestructible pillar of love. I challenge you today, keep your covenant before God, that you may be a witness of his love and your promises, that others may see your increasing love for one another and witness the Lord's presence in your relationship. Seek to please one another only and treat this gift of marriage as an honor. And may the Lord bless you and keep you all the days of your life. To him be the Lord. Shall we bow our heads? Dear Lord, this is a great and exciting time as we come before you and recognize, Lord, your love for both Carol and Malachi. Lord, we just pray that you'll be the guiding light in their life as they go forward. Lord, we realize that there are so many things ahead. There are so many problems that can arise, but Lord, we know that, we by, that by beginning our lives out under your watchful care and under the leadership of your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would be the light and the direction that they need daily in their lives. Lord, it has been a joy to come before you today recognize, Father, that these two love you, they serve you, and that's why they met, because they met at a college that was where they were studying, Lord, but a Christian college, a place where we can be thankful for that they went to. Lord, we just pray that you would direct their lives now as they go their, as they go back to school and they study, Lord, in their own direction. Father, as they pursue the, the endeavors in their life, what they want to be, Lord, we just pray that you will give them that direction. And not only that, give them the strength and all the needs, Father, that they need to go forward for you. Lord, we just are grateful to you once again that we can bow before you, knowing that they come to you as Christian and, and in love with you, and I just pray that you'll also be with the families, the moms and dads of these two. Lord, we just pray that you'll just be with them because, Lord, there's an emptiness in that home. And we just know that there's times when they're, they're going to miss their children. But, Lord, we also know that they're going to lift them up in prayer. And they're going to continue to help them. And also, many times, they're going to correspond back with mom and dad because there are things that come about, and Father, we just pray that you will help them to work these things out in their lives, we pray. Have your way through this day. Lord, we thank you for it. In thy name we pray.
hearing your verbal commitment to each other and witnessing your expression and desire for the sacred covenant of marriage. I would ask you to wear these rings as tangible physical reminders of your pledge of love and fidelity to one another. Malachi, would you take care of his hand and repeat after me? I, Malachi, take you care of to be my wedding wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy plan. And there too, I pledge you my faith. Kira, would you take Malachi's hand and repeat after me? I, Kira, take you, Malachi, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death do us part. According to God's holy plans. And thereto I pledge my faith. And your commitment to each other today. And in the Messiah of these standing and seated here. And in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to the power invested in me by God in the state of Michigan, I now pronounce you. Mr. and Mrs. Malachi and Carol Dodge, you may kiss your brother.
was awesome. <laughs> Kara, 
Amy and I know that you married a great and godly man today who not only met your criteria, but who will also love you for the rest of your life. And Malachi, I know you already know this, but you have a beautiful bride who is full of love for you. She loves the Lord more than anything and desires to honor and serve God with her life. She is funny and sweet and hilarious when she's high on sugar. She is extremely loyal, and I know her love and respect for you will never waver. She is thoughtful and kind and is one of my best friends. You're truly getting a treasure today in Kara, and she is just amazing. And as I've gotten to know you more over the past year or so, I realize how amazing you are together. Both of you are truly better together, truly better together than apart. You guys are a beautiful couple, and I pray that God would bless you guys and your marriage in the years to come. Let's raise our glasses to Kara and Malachi. We just want to wish you guys all the love and the joy in the world. <laughs> Well, um, if you don't know me, I am Malachi's brother, and uh, we've been best friends for whole lives. I mean, I've loved Malachi as long as I can remember. <laughs> and, well, <laughs> it's been pretty good being brothers. Yeah. I was very thankful when he asked me to be his best man. I've never been offered position to be a best man <laughs> and come into a wedding like this before. I've never really been in a wedding, so it was awesome. And uh, <laughs> But first and foremost, I have a story to tell for Kara as a warning about this man that she just married. <laughs> and so to start this, me and Malachi had this little game that we played down in our basement in our house in Traverse City. We had this pole and we would tie each other to it, and then see how long it took us to get out. And we'd tie each other, it was kind of a little challenge. Well, one time, he put a jacket on me backwards, and zipped it to the pole, so I was stuck. And <laughs> after a little while of me struggling, and like yelling at them to let me out, well, Malachi and my sister, who was down there, decided to walk out of the room, turn off the lights, <laughs> and lock the doors from the inside. So, <laughs> they're sitting out the door laughing, thinking that they just pulled the best prank ever, and I am like, bawling my eyeballs out inside of this room, screaming to them to let me in. And finally, my mom came down and rescued me. I was, this was a long time ago, you're right. Yeah. And then, there is also the time that you tied me when, in the middle of the night, and I had to go to the bathroom. We're gonna end up right there though. We're not gonna go any further. So I'm just Kara, I'm warning you, if you wake up in the middle of the night to hear children kicking and screaming, you have your first suspect. <laughs> but either way, Kara, I think you're a wonderful woman from Alki. I couldn't have asked. I couldn't have asked any other better woman from Alki. He really couldn't have picked a better wife more to make him more happy than you. And I'm really thankful to see you guys growing up together and see your kids and it'll be great. <laughs> He's always been um, the kind of person that does a lot of stuff, and he always has something going on, and he always has a project that he's working on, or some sort of plan for what to do next. And I just wanted to say, Malachi, I think you've started like the longest project that you're ever going to do. <laughs> and I hope it's the longest. <laughs> and as you and Kara start up this life together. Um, I hope and pray that God will bless you too, and that you two will love each other and take care of each other, and be the best for each other that you can be. To Malachi and Kara.